Hey y'all, welcome to fifth grade, chapter nine, lesson five. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So we're gonna get started with number two, and it says to multiply the number of pounds by blank to find the total cost. Well, number of pounds, that's three right there. Okay, but three times what is 12? Well, we multiplied it by four to get 12. Three times four is 12. So we're multiplying that by 12. Six times four is 24, nine times four is 36. So yes. So 18 times 4. Well, I don't know the off the top of my head, so I'm going to go 18 times 4 right here. Okay, so 4 times 8, 32. Carry that 3. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7, so 72. Done. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to follow the pattern, okay? So 2 times what is 30? Well, I don't know that off the top of my head, so I'm going to go right here and I'm going to go. 130, and I'm going to divide that by 2. Okay, so 2 goes not into 1, but 2 will go into 13 6 times. 6 times 2 is 12. Get one left over. Okay, I'm going to bring down my 0, and 2 goes into 10 5 times. 5 times 2 is 10. Get 0. So 65. Okay, so we are multiplying the number of hours by 65 to find the number of miles. Okay, so 2 times 65 is 130. 4 times 65 would be 260. Okay, there's a pattern there. So now I'm going to multiply that 8 by 65 to find so 65 times 8. All right, so 8 times 5 is 40. Carry the 4. 8 times 6 is 48 plus 4, 52. 520. Done. Okay, you guys do number four. You totally can. Okay, now on number five, it says a map T shows that every five inches on the map represents 200 miles. Okay, so if I made a chart, okay, so we would count by fives. Okay. And it would go up by 200 each time. So 200, 400, 600, 800, and 1,000. Okay? Suppose the distance between two cities on the map is 7 inches. Okay? Well, I did 5, so let's just extend it two more. Okay? So 20, 25, 25. Oh, I see. So... It wants to know, I did this wrong. So hold on. So seven inches. So to get from five to 200, we're multiplying it by 40. Okay. We're going to take that seven and multiply it by 40. Okay. Well, seven times zero is zero. Seven times four is 28. So 280 miles. Okay. Okay, so, all right, that was that, guys. So, and write the rule. All we did was multiply the inches by 40. Done. Okay, all right, number six. To make a costume, Rachel uses six yards of material and three yards of trim. Suppose she uses 48 yards of material. Okay, so to get from six to three, okay, we divided by two, right? Okay, so we're going to divide 48 by two. Well, 48 divided by two is 24 yards of trim okay and our rule was was to divide yard of material by two done okay all right so we're going to go into the back don't forget to do number four y'all Okay.
So we're going to go into the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, and we're going to go down and do this file review. Okay? This says, what is the value of the following expression? So right here, I can see that I'm going to need my PEMDAS. Okay? I do have parentheses. So I'm going to rewrite everything else. Okay? And I'm going to solve for the parentheses. Okay? So 3 plus 2, 5. Okay? So now parentheses are done. I don't have any exponents. I do have multiplication. So I'm going to rewrite my 40 minus, and then 5 times 6 is 30. Okay? So now, whoop, I'm done with my multiplication. I don't have any division. I don't have any subtraction or addition. So now I just have my subtraction. So 40 minus 30 is 10. Okay? What is the value of the digit 9 in the number 400, or sorry, 597, 800, 184? I can't read today. All right? So we love these because all you have to do is drop down that 9, and every number afterwards for 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers becomes a 0. 9,000. Oh, sorry. There were 5 numbers afterwards. 90,000. 1, 2, 3. Okay. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go and it says, what is the best estimate for the sum of three eighths and one twelfth? Okay. Well, three eighths is about half. Okay. And one twelfth is like nothing. One twelfth is like the tiniest little bit. So I would just say one half. Okay. Here he uses three cups of pumpkin seeds to decorate 12 loaves of bread. Put an equal amount of seeds on each loaf. How many cups of pumpkin seeds does he put on each loaf? So three cups divided by 12. Remember that a fraction is just division, okay? So 3 divided by 12, I'm just going to reduce that, okay? And go 3 goes into 3, 1. 3 goes into 12, 4 times. It's going to be a quarter cup. That's it, guys. You don't actually have to do the division, okay? You just got to reduce it, all right? All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 3.5, or sorry, 9.5. Come on back for 9.6 soon. See ya.